Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial on the if statement as well as assignment operators. I've decided to just combine the two since they're used very often together anyway. In programming it can be useful very quickly to begin adding some degrees of logic to your program and one of the most basic forms of logic that you can use is just the if statement. So the if statement is used uh, to check to see if something is the case. If it is the case, do something. Otherwise, continue along and you know don't do anything under the if statement. So uh, one of the most common things that you're going to use with your if statement is going to be some sort of assignment operator. So these things are like greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, uh, less than or equal to, or just straight up equal to. So let's go ahead and cover a few of those. So to start, let's say x equals 5 and we'll say y equals uh, 8. And so a basic uh, if statement would go something like this, like if x is greater than y, colon, enter, and it'll just go down here for you, print, well, if that's the case, x is greater than y. So we can save and run that, and we would see here, if x was greater than y, it would have done something, but that's not the case, so it did nothing. But if we change this, if x is less than y, and we run it, this time, well, we got x is greater than y, but that wasn't the truth. There we go. <laughs> so anyways, it runs the code. Um, so the next thing that we can do, though, is we can add another variable. So I'm just going to delete this, and we're going to add a z, and we're going to say z equals 5. And now what we can do, though, is we could say if z is less than y, which is greater than x, what do we want to do? Well, we can print uh, y is greater than z and greater than x. Save that, run it, and sure enough, that is the case because z and x are equal to 5 and y is equal to 8. But you're able to do uh, this kind of stuff. And what if we did uh, a equals uh, 3 and then we did something like this a save and run that and yet again we get y is greater than z and greater than x we didn't say anything about a but you can see that it was indeed the case here so as you can see this could get really hairy really quick and all we're using is these greater than or less than signs but it turns out that you can also use there's a couple other things that we can do uh, so let's go ahead and cover some of those so at the same time we could say um, if z is less than or equal to x, what you know, do something. So we'll say print um, z is less than or equal to x. We save and run that, and sure enough, <clears throat> that is the case uh, because z is actually uh, equal to x. They're both five, so we know that's the case. And so we can see here that the less than or equal to sign uh, did its part. There's another thing that we could do, though. Uh, let me do this. Z is equal to x. And you can say if z is equal to x. But you can't do this. You can't say if z equals x. Because it's almost asking, like, is that the variable definition or whatnot? So what you have to do is a double equal sign. And that means if it equals x. So there are some languages where you would you could say like if something equals something, and then like the double equals means like is it fully equal? So like if one and then string one, um, those would equal each other, but then they wouldn't you know double equal each other. But in this sense, in Python, uh, the way that you would do it is if z equals using double equal signs. Then we would say z is equal to x. Save and run it. Sure enough, that is the case. The other thing that you can say is does not equal, and the way that you do that is with an exclamation mark equals sign. So if z does not equal um, x, then we would run this. But it does equal x, so it will run. But if z does not equal, let's say, y, we can save and run that. And sure enough, it runs because it is, is indeed not equal. So those are the basics to the if statement. Um, as you can see, it's a very simple uh, statement, but then you can start adding other things to it. And the next video, what we're going to add to it is the else. So uh, stay tuned for the else statement. Very exciting uh, change to the if statement. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support the subscriptions. And until next time.